Hey guys, my name is Umkar Jagdare and I'm coming at you from Detroit, Michigan. And today I'm going to talk to you about five easiest universities for civil engineering in United States for you to get into. So if you're an international student and you want to come to US, I'm going to give you the five universities for civil engineering. Before I say anything, you know, I want to give you a disclaimer, guys. This video is not a recommendation that you should go to these universities. This video is also not a recommendation. I'm not promoting these universities, first of all. But what I'm trying to do in this video is I know a lot of you are in other countries and you're struggling. Your goal is to get out of there. And I know where how I know how you feel because there was a time about 10 years ago, I just wanted to get out of my country. I just wanted to go out and get an opportunity and go there and work hard and prove myself. So when I'm telling you that this is one of the easiest way for you to get a visa and get into a university and get your admission and stuff like that. So what I'm trying to say is this is the easiest path for you to get into US. There is a saying, you know, if you're easy on yourself, life will be hard on you. If you are hard on yourself, life will be easy on you. Similarly, because these are universities which are very easy to get into, your future path may be difficult. Finding jobs may be difficult. And I'll cover that in my in the video. I'll cover that in the video eventually. OK, so understand what I'm trying to say here. My goal is to give you universities which are easiest for you to get your visa and come to US. That is all I'm telling you. I'm not telling you about how to get a job out of this. I'm not telling you all those things. OK, so my agenda here is for you to, for me to help you to get to US. All right, let's get into this. So number one. So number one university on my list is Florida Institute of Technology. Now, I have heard about this university. I have heard about this university for a while. You know, there are a lot of students who contact me and they connect with me and they ask me about this university. The reason I chose this university is first of all, Florida has a lot of civil engineering opportunities. Okay. Now, because of that, when you graduate from Florida, your chances of getting a job are really, really high. Second, um, this university is, is like has a 70% acceptance rate. So if you can see there, there's a 70% acceptance rate. Uh, average tuition fees per year, I believe, is about $31,000. So that's a little bit higher, but usually they show the undergrad tuition fees. So you want to look into the university, research it, see how much is the cost for that. OK, I'm not going to cover that in this video. And graduation rate, that means about 60% of people who get into the university actually graduate from that university. Okay. Now, the reason I'm recommending this university, again, like I said, it's Florida, a lot of job opportunities. Florida has the most amount of research and development that goes into civil engineering. Next university. So this is a university where I went to school. Um, I know a little bit more about this uh, because so here's the thing. Um, so Lawrence Tech University is located in Michigan. It's in the northern part of the country. It's very cold here. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. My goal here is not to sell you on something. My goal is to be very, very transparent here. It's super cold here in Michigan. So unless and until your goal is just to get to US, you don't care where it is in US then this may be a university for you. OK, let's look at the acceptance rate. It's 82 percent. So about if 100 people apply, 82 out of that will get an admission. So it's very easy to get in, in my opinion. OK, uh, tuition fees is about thirty five thousand dollars for masters, thirty five to forty thousand dollars for the entire masters. Your living expenses will be about ten to twelve thousand dollars. So maybe twenty five thousand dollars. So you can actually wrap up your entire masters in about fifty to sixty thousand dollars, depending upon how you spend your money. OK, so a very good university. I graduated from here. I found a job out of graduation here. Uh, but at the end of the day, would I recommend this? I would say if you have a choice to go to a university somewhere south, prefer that. Go to that rather than taking this because it's super cold here. Opportunities here are there. They, you can find a job, not a question about it. But, you know, sometimes it does get cold here. So if you're not a fan of a cold, go somewhere warm. All right. Let's look at the third university. 
and I would say one of the good universities here, so University of Texas Arlington. Now I know a lot, a lot, lot of civil engineers who graduated from here and they have found jobs. So one thing I know about this university is, is people who usually graduate do find jobs because I don't know how, but all these Desi people, I Indian people I met from this university have jobs and they've figured it out. I guess their network, their alumni network is really good where they're able to find these opportunities, okay? Now, cost of living, I don't know there. Uh, average tuition fees, in I, I feel like their tuition fees is a little bit higher than uh, Lawrence Tech, 45 to $50,000 range, I believe. Okay, it may be a little bit higher. Cost of living in uh, Arlington, Dallas area is similar to Michigan, so it's not as expensive as other places. Okay, now if you look at it, they have a 60% graduation rate, which is really good, and their acceptance rate is 88%. It's higher than Lawrence Tech, so that means they will accept it no matter who you are if you have a living soul you're breathing they will accept your application so go ahead and apply if that's your goal all right now let's look at another university and this is arizona state university it's located in um, tempe arizona um, so arizona is a warm place warm state i like it um, warm state means more opportunities for you to get out of the house more opportunities for you to find jobs also because you know colder states they stop construction during winter time so warmer states don't have to do that they don't have to stop construction at times so you it's like a 12 month period they are doing work there so i would say arizona state university out of all the five universities i'm going to talk to you about it would be my number one choice now though i don't know exactly how things happen there uh, here is what I have learned recently from there that there are a lot of Indian students there there are a lot of international students at Arizona State University and so you want to be mindful about that when you're going there okay so but in my opinion I really like the university and I know from there a lot I have known people to get into like amazing companies uh, I know a friend a couple of friends who studied computer science there they got into Microsoft so that means even though it's not the best university in terms of ranking still you have a great chance to get into top companies so i think this is a great company this is a great university and definitely look over take take a look so here's the thing if i had the grades i had back in india and 10 years back i was coming i would have actually gone here if i knew about this university unfortunately i did not know about this okay now the last university there's a reason i kept this university last okay now I actually came to this university when I came first time. So I came to University of New Haven. That was an easy ticket for me to come to America. Um, applied for my visa, got it right away, no questions. Didn't get a difficult time. It's very easy to get into. As a matter of fact, recently I was talking to someone and he told me that about eight months ago or like some time ago, there were so many Indian students, that international students that landed in uh, University of New Haven that a lot of them couldn't find off-campus housing and they had to transfer out of this university somewhere else. So the amount of international people who come to this university is humongous because they know it's an easy university to get into. You can get your application, you can get your visa. And as a matter of fact, you can see 91% acceptance rate. I mean, can you believe that? Like they are literally, if you have, if you're breathing, you have a body, if you have, you know, if you have some temperature, they will accept you. So go for it, apply. This is the university I actually came to. I studied there for two years, did my undergrad, and from there I moved on to Lawrence Tech, which is where I studied and I finished my undergrad there. Now here is what I want to wrap it up, okay? Now I wanna talk about this university, University of New Haven. I actually wouldn't recommend you to come here if I were you, okay? If I were you, I wouldn't recommend for you to come here. If you just want to get to US, then go ahead and apply. You are not having any other options and you just want to get to US, maybe this is the university. But here's the thing you have to understand, a lot of people who graduate from this university have tough time finding jobs in civil engineering. I don't know about other fields, but I do know about civil engineering because the thing is you see Connecticut as a state doesn't have a lot of civil engineering opportunities. Um, I don't know why, I have not been able to put my head around it, but there are not a lot of companies that actually do sponsorship, there are not a lot of people who hire international people. So you wanna take a note of that. Now, there are uh, New York, New Jersey area is right next to you, but still I feel like it gets a little bit difficult for you to find a job if you are from here. So if you are a hustler and you know exactly what you're doing, and when you get here, you know what you're gonna be doing, I think this may be a great university for you. 
okay because it's just gonna get you to us and after that you see i'm trying to tell you how you get to us after that you have to figure it out if you come to one of these universities you either study here and finish your masters from here or you study for a semester and graduate somewhere better okay or transfer somewhere better but i think that's all i had for you today and these are the five universities i would say only if you have no other choice and these are your safe universities that will allow you to get to us all right and i i wish you all the best and i'll see you in the next video take care